In San Antonio, we do a lot of phase one trials. Including that, we also have um, liver dysfunction trials or renal dysfunction trials, um, including in the phase one setting. So there's not a lot of data on liver dysfunction trials as a whole and how patients do. So we did a retrospective review of all of our phase one liver dysfunction trials in the past 10 years um, at our institution that encompassed 12 trials. Um, and then we broke it down based on severity of liver dysfunction into normal, mild, moderate, severe, um, and looked at outcomes. So that included response rates, rates of stable disease, so together we coined that uh, clinical benefit rate. And then we also looked at death on study within each group and rates of grade three and four drug-associated toxicity. And what we found was that you know, the normal cohort had quite a good clinical benefit rate of 44% and death on study rate was still somewhat high at 10%, but as you went down into mild, moderate, and severe, you know, the rates of clinical benefit declined significantly with a severe cohort having only a 5% uh, benefit, clinical benefit rate, so that included stable disease, and a significant increase in rates of death on study, up to 24% in our severe cohort. Patients also didn't stay on study, so the mean number of cycles that patients in the severe cohort were able to tolerate was only one cycle. Oftentimes, patients would actually come off study before one cycle. Um, rates of toxicity didn't so much correlate with degree of liver dysfunction, but we think that may also be influenced by just the rates of death. So I think what our research indicated is that the patients with especially moderate and severe liver dysfunction that come in for phase one studies are often very heavily pretreated and very difficult to treat with therapy, oftentimes just because of their very advanced disease. And so we really need to think about what benefit we're offering to our patients when we allow them um, or offer them participation in these kinds of trials.